Massive is a key component of the Helm's Deep sequence. We're doing all of the Uruk armies with Massive, and in some cases, uh, some of the other participants as well, the Rohan soldiers and the elves. Well, before there was even any thought of making crowd systems for um, Lord of the Rings, I was already interested in artificial life. And my thing is taking natural processes and using them in a computer to generate nice imagery. When Peter Jackson asked me to put together a system, uh, I said that I wanted to create it this way using artificial life inspired approaches rather than what would typically be done. So that means they have to have brains, that means they have to have a body that is a physical simulation of the body. In other words, it reacts to forces and collisions and everything rather than just a computer graphic thing that isn't physically real in any way. For each agent to respond naturally to the environment, it's important that they have uh, senses, the same as we have. So it's, uh, they have vision, they have sound, um, and they have a sense of touch through collisions. This is what this guy sees, and he responds directly to what he sees. Now, that image gets fed into his brain in these nodes here. Here we have a combat brain, and uh, here's our little combat agent running around. And um, this brain looks a little different. It's a bit more complex. Each of these boxes represents a whole load of nodes. These are what we call macro nodes, and inside each one is a little chunk of brain and um, varying amounts of stuff in each one. Each of these modules performs uh, a function like uh, navigation or targeting or uh, turning or uh, adapting to the terrain. Things like uh, navigation will tell what obstacles are around him, where his enemies are, where his allies are. We don't build 80,000 individual agents. We build one agent that we can then instance 80,000 times, but we build variation into each agent so that the variables such as boldness and height and dirtiness and aggression or whatever um, they are different for each agent and then the end result is that each agent will behave differently and will look slightly different. Helm's Deep is, I don't know how it's going to be cut, but it's probably, last time I saw it, it was like 20 to 30 minutes of the film. So it's basically the whole film is kind of leading you up to this battle. So this battle is the big moment that you're, you want to watch. And so, so the actions of the massive guys just like, just like in film one, the, the, the Balrog and the cave troll was, was kind of the big moment, that, the, the big battle sequence. And it's kind of the same way in Helm's Deep. The digital armies are one of the main focuses in this whole battle, and it's the thing that you're going to be watching the most are these, are just these outrageous battle scenes.